the other thing that um well let's let's just go ahead and go to the tool so we'll go to the conflict the um, model builder tool model builder you can find that on the under tools tab and model builder and again it's basically going to map from one source to another in my case uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet, but it can be other sources as well. But we do have to know where you're mapping to. Are you go, are you bringing in utilities, dry utilities, or are you bringing in stormwater or sanitary sewer? So those are the different properties depending on what you're doing. And so what you're doing is you're going to be setting up connection model builder connection files. You know your mapping files, and those can be saved off. Here I've got two saved off. Um, I can import from somebody created one, I can import theirs and use it. Um, oftentimes in support, I ask you for your model builder connection file, it kind of makes it easier to troubleshoot it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and edit this one. And so the connection file contains everything you see from this point forward in the wizard. And for example, it knows that it's looking for Excel. But again, like I said, we could have many types of, of data structures here um, and then you can see a preview in the dialog so you can actually read the spreadsheet and see and so as you make changes to the spreadsheet they actually show up here um, so it's it's constantly looking at you, you can um, you can have I have multiple sheets in that spreadsheet I don't want to bring everything in I only want to bring in these three things so I check on what I want to bring in um, other things with model builders, coordinates. You know, I need to specify my coordinates. What I want to do if I, if you don't have, if you can't find the, a node or something that's connected to a pipe, go ahead and create something there or, you know, ignore it. How do you want to handle when you bring the data in? Um, do you want to add objects that don't exist yet in the drainage and utility database in the DGN? Do you want to just update what's in there? Uh, do we want to remove things from the from that desk from the DGN that um, don't exist in this spreadsheet that I'm importing? Um, out of so remove things out of the model. Um, here at this point in the wizard, I mean, this is probably the probably the most important thing is like, how do you want to? What's the key field? What you know? What are we going to you know kind of hinge everything on? And and so the key field for drainage and utilities is everything has an ID or a label inside the DGN. So, you know, pipe one, pipe two, manhole one, manhole two. Um, um, so that label, you know, what what's that key field that we're going to kind of base our mapping on to tie to the elements in the DGN? And so in our case, it's the label field. I have a label column with the names of these power poles or overhead lines or, or water lines, etc. And so, and then you know, for for lines or pipes, conduits, everything has to have a start and stop. For power poles, nodes, everything has to have an X and Y. So what's that key field for where that exists on the in the model? And then, of course, the other thing is everything has to have a certain table type because we have certain properties based on the type of um, table or, or element you're bringing in. So the communication is a communication segment, electrical is electrical segment. And then it's just a matter of going through all the different fields and mapping them to something in the database. So the property on the right hand side is just all the things inside the drainage and utility database in the DGN. And so the more I become familiar with these names and what they represent, the easier my mapping becomes. And we've gotten some enhancement requests on can we get a better, like more, you know, understanding or something that shows us, shows the user better how to map. So that I know that this value in my database might not be called operational status, but how, how do, what does operational status need or mean? You know, you can kind of see some of my column labels, right? were the same and that just makes it easier there. So look at power pole, the same thing. Um, you know, elevation, location point X, location point Y. It's just easier. So you just come through and if and if you don't want something brought in, you just you can set it to none, for example. That's another option. Just if you don't want to bring that in, you don't have to. So you can have properties in your 
your source file, in this case, the spreadsheet that don't exist, that you don't want over brought over. You're not tracking those at all. And then finally, it's just a matter of, again, you know, that's again why I broke it out into two tabs is because you get one feature definition assignment, one feature definition assignment, depending on the, so these are going to be assigned fiber optic cable, electric is direct berry, and then utility. Uh, we'll take a look at snapshots in a minute. And then finally, would I like to build the model in my DGN or, or do I just want to go ahead and do the mapping and I can build it later? Um, I'll go ahead and build it now at this moment. We're going to synchronize model builder. So model builder is going to you know, synchronize into the DGN, just saying that it had to do, get rid of your undo stack. So can't really undo anything prior to this point now. Go ahead and bring the bring everything in. It gives you a little feedback. It says it's you know, what it's created, any messages, if there are errors or problems. And then once I close the model builder dialog, it'll go ahead and create the, the graphics in the DGN. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring model builder back up, go right back there. Now, if anything were to change, um, just you don't have to go back through. You've done all that mapping. You can just come in here and say sync to model. And it will... So if I made changes or something in the file, I don't have to kind of go back through that wizard, just sync to model and it'll, it'll update if it needs to update. All right, so let's take a look at what it created. Probably do that here. You can see all the nodes that were brought in. There's all my power poles and so forth. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.